What is the crack YouTubers? So just doing a quick video here. Today we have a special guest on the channel today. I have six plus Steve over here with me if you want to say hello to you. Hey hey guys, welcome to Scarner's video with me, Six Plus Stevo. So we're gonna do a collab here. As you can tell, we're gonna be talking about a, a few few key topics that have come up lately that are, are pretty exciting and first and foremost uh will be the speed freaks. Um the release that's oh, coming out in October. What do you think, mate? Me, I am so excited at the moment. Um, it was just, uh, I was disappointed at first when we got the news of the uh, box game that was rumoured to be Space Wolves and uh, Orcs. And, uh, but that disappointment went away very quickly once I saw this Speed Freaks announcement. Yeah, I, I have to say it was the same myself. I thought we were going to get um, a Stormclaw box set 2.0. So like the Stormclaw box set we got in 7th ed. I had my heart yeah. set on like Space Wolves versus Orcs, so I was, was a bit heartbroken as well when I saw it was Gene Steeler Cultists. And then this was announced. <laughs> oh, mate, it, it just looks so cool on so many levels. I mean, not only are we getting a new game, which in itself is really cool news, but a new buggy was probably... It's probably the unit us all players have been crying out for to have a refresh. Other than the Death Copter, maybe more than any other because mm. um, it was desperately in need of an update well, the def, they're from the Gorkamorka era both of them, the Def Cop there, um, I think it's a special character and then the buggy is like Gorkamorka area so what happened was we got an announcement of the Speed Freaks after some of the sprues were leaked so some people seem to think that Games Workshop leaked this themselves I'm not that way inclined, I actually think that these images were leaked and then Games Workshop were forced to then react. Um, you know, I'm still I'm still dubious on that one. I still kind of think they do these sort of viral marketing schemes and stuff, don't they, and get sort of word. So I don't know. I'm kind of uh, swaying the other way on that one. But uh, I guess we'll never know on that one. Um, well, just from the admin aspect of it, I help run a Gorka Morka page and there's... The original post that was leaked was being removed. The original images were being removed by Facebook themselves directly because people were were asking us. They were like, oh, well, what's going on? You know, uh, the, the images are gone. And it's like, it wasn't us. So it was a crackdown directly from Facebook. That's what gives me the sort of the, the idea that Games Workshop tried to quash it themselves, sort of. Yeah, yeah, you make a good point there. Um, yeah, well, it's either... Either that, that they're doing that, sort of allowing these things to be leaked out, like making it look like it wasn't supposed to be to sort of build up hype, or the other option is that these things get leaked and they then they just react very quickly these days. Because, um, well, we yeah. know they're, they're, they're watching the community a lot, aren't they? Um, and they're in, interacting with the community a lot. So, um, Well, that's it. They get involved these days. So, yeah, it's either way, we're getting a cool box set. So... We have oh, the, yeah. the contents of the, the box that were leaked here. From what we can see, we have like the black sprue, which is going to be terrain. There's... That, 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 that's really cool that we get terrain um, because we we there's a lot of other companies making like orc terrain and stuff. And we've never really, we get a lot of, uh, a lot of the terrain is generally Imperial centric, isn't Imperial it? Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think the last specific piece of terrain I remember for Orcs off the top of my head was City Fight, I think back in 4th edition, where we had the Orc City Fight barricades that were a limited release. I think that was the last thing off the top of my head now. I could be wrong. I think that Have was the you last... seen the prices those things go for on eBay now? It's insane. <laughs> It's crazy. I only have the one set, and and I'm keeping them. So, yeah. Well, if you ever need a few quid, mate, you put them on eBay. Yeah. You'll be so <laughs> throw them <laughs> up to get to get some some boogies. So yeah, like like we were saying, there was the sprues leaked. Um, so there should be like six bikes in total, some scrap terrain to race around, and then at least two boogies. It looks. Uh, so there's like a red team and a yellow team. And it looks like a self-contained game in and of itself. A bit like, yeah. um, what's that Assassin's game? The Exterminatus one or whatever? You know, the, the Assassin's yeah, game they no, had that came out not too long ago? They did They did one as well for Dark Elder um, a little while oh, back. Oh, Gangs of Kamora, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
So that was just a repackage of old. There was nothing new in it, but it looked like quite. An, I mean, I never played the game. I read about it. it looked quite interesting. It was good value at the time, but uh, yeah, similar sort of thing. Yeah, I think that's that's no, the, interesting, that's, that's the interesting, interesting thing for this will be um, the pricing of this box set. Yeah, I'm hoping it will be well. <sighs> If it follows the current trend, they seem to like the uh, the sweet spot of ninety five pound, don't they? At the moment, yeah, like train, um, kill team. Um, so it's as if you'll put a, how much do, how much do walk bikes go for these days? Oh, off the top, me, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I haven't bought orc bikes in a long time. I mean, I would imagine these buggies. If you think these buggies being sold in a kit on their own, I would th imagine you would be looking at the twenty-five to thirty pound mark. I would estimate. Yeah, that uh, seems, yeah, I, yeah, it seems I, probably, I, probably I, reasonable. Yeah, probably, probably about the price of a Big Mac going to the custom cannons. Like yeah. yeah, I think it'll be pretty priced similar to like the truck or something like that. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think this is probably going to be £95. I think that seems to be their sweet spot at the moment for their price and strategy of box games. It's it's definitely working so far. Well, I'd be interested to see the game itself, not just the sp like the sprues. I'd be happy enough just to buy it, but it would be interesting to see the, the quality of the mini game that it's going to be because some people seem to think it's going to be walk or market, but they've pretty much come out and said it's pretty much a self-contained racing game off of their community page, you know? Yeah, it's it's not Gorka Morka 2, um, but I think it's definitely taken a lot of inspiration from Gorka Morka, and I think people that enjoyed Gorka Morka are likely to get a lot out of this game. Um, it's going to be very different in a lot of ways, but I think there will be some sort of similarities and stuff. Obviously, um, buggies and stuff played a huge part in Gorka Morka, um, but that was about fighting over scrap and stuff, wasn't it? This is just good old-fashioned death races. And for what we get, yeah, it, it's, it's it's racing in some form or another. But it'll be interesting either way. I know I'm getting at least one box, at least one box when it comes out. Uh, depending on the price, that 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 uh that number may differ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. It does depend on the, on the price, definitely. Um, yeah, but I, I'm thinking ninety five pound. I said I said kill team was ninety five pound. Kill team wasn't ninety five pound, was it? It was eighty pounds. Um, um, but I think I got mine off a third party supplier, so I never actually buy direct off PW. Yeah, I, I I never pay retail price if I can help it, unless there's no other option. I will always go with one of the discount sellers. But uh, so if if you can end up getting this set for sort of around the sixty to seventy pound mark, I think that's yeah, from a, like a discount seller. That's that's going to be a it's going to be a good purchase and. The, they, they, you see what they've done so far with their other sets. They've, they're insane value. Um, like the Forge Bane set with the Necrons and everything that I got, that that was incredible value for what you got in the box. Uh, Kill Team um, is has been incredible value. Um, these box games they're coming out with currently are just the value of them is just incredible. Um, Too you, good so, not to buy at, at certain yeah. points. Huh? Yeah, it's just literally GW take my money um, with everything they're announcing at the moment, game box game wise. Yeah, and they're put they're putting it on thick and hard as well, man. There's just the uh, it's that Titan game. It's got it's gone from me now at the moment. The Adeptus Titanicus that's only just out as well. Yeah, yeah, not 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 too excited about that one. Um, uh, that's a bit more on the side as well. Isn't it? But yeah, these specialist. I, I, I can't see I can't see this game the game in itself I can't see being supported for very long um, in terms of new releases for it or expansions to it I think it will be sort of very much a sort of standalone box game have some fun with it I, I can't see it being something they carry on as like a specialist game that they will continue to support but I don't think that matters because I think whether you have the room, if you've got no interest in playing the game itself, but you collect orcs, you want this set regardless. Yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree with you there. I don't see this box set sticking around for long. I, I reckon it'll probably be out for a few months and then it'll just fade off. If it, if even, it might just be an initial release and then that's it. We, we don't know, but I, like yourself, I don't really see it sticking around, but... I reckon it'll probably be such good value for money that any orc player will assault 
or any budding or player looking to get into it. You know what I mean? Definitely. I mean, even you know, Suns players. I mean, they, they yeah, <laughs> that's just an instant. It's it's uh, it's a no brainer, isn't it? If you want buggies in your army, you want bikes. This is going to save you a lot of money, and it's probably at first the buggies I imagine will be exclusive to this set. And I imagine that um, much like they did with those Armager Knights from the Forge Bane set, for a little while they were exclusive to that. And then like a, a few weeks or a month later, they then released them as a standalone kit that you could buy. I imagine they'll probably do something similar to this for a little while. It'll probably be the only way you can get your hands on these buggies. And speaking of these buggies, so we we throw up an image there. And this one apparently is the Custom Booster Blaster. So that's one of the two options that come in the box here. The other box. I, I, I just, I, it's, 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 I can't stop looking at this thing. Uh, it's just so, so good. It, it's, it's as any uh, orc player. It's, it's just, I, oh. I, I, I'm, I'm loving the double engine and the, the scoop intake. It's very, very Mad Max. It's, it's very uh, Road Warrior sort of. You know what I mean? I love the grill with like the teeth. It's got a very similar sort of. It, it ties in nicely with the current truck kit. Um, it, it would look very much in place with that, like where you've got like the grill looking like jaws. Um, you have got the like the, the the horns coming out of it, and like you say the the big vents and the exposed engine. It it just looks yeah, it's awesome. That ramshackle aesthetic, yeah, it, it it fits. I think it fits in nicely with the the, the likes of the battle wagon and the truck. Um, the Death. front plate actually reminds me of one of the jaws for the the Death Dread. Have the the yes. it's like a skull part and the lower jaw that reminds me of the Death Dread quite a bit. And then um, the other one that they have out is called the Shock Jump Dragster, and this <laughs> looks this looks hilarious. It looks great. The slick tires. <laughs> yeah, man. Holy. You've got the uh, the um, flux capacitor there on the back. <laughs> They're jumping in and out of the game. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be interested to see what they, they make of it. I, I, do you know? I think what excites me. I mean, both of them look incredible in their own way. This, this is the one. What, what's this? What's the yellow one called again? Remind me. The uh, shock jump dragster. Shock jump dragster. That's cool. I love um, the front end of it as well. Um, really cool. Where you've got like the scoop and you've got like the the grinder there spinning yeah, yeah. round. I mean, uh, you could have a bit of fun with that, putting some sort of mangled body parts and stuff in there, like a chewed up space marine being, you know, chewed up into there or something. Poor, uh, poor little Gretchen's arm sticking out in between two of the blades or something. Yeah, a, a grot that's like tinkering away. Think, imagine like the film from like Mad Max where you got the guy on there and he's getting the mouthful of the fuel and sp spitting Spewing it, into, it into, the... into the. Yeah, yeah, that's actually that'd be a great idea for a conversion. Not doing that. His mate's being like, he's, he's lost his foot and his foot's got stuck in there and he's being sucked in or something. You're going to have some major fun with these, you know, doing some conversions and stuff. And I imagine people are going to get the kits and combine the two in some way, um, do oh, a yeah. bit of kit okay. with them. And um, I mean, the, the the first one, the um, the Booster Blaster one, looks incredibly similar to a lot of um, conversions and kit bashes and stuff that I've seen people do for like the last few years where they've been, you know, forced to make their own buggies and stuff. And uh, it looks, it's almost like GW are taking a lot of their inspiration from the converters and kit bashers at the moment. And, you know, you search Google images for like all converted um, buggy and stuff. You see a lot of ones that look very similar to, to that one. Yeah. You'll have a, a plethora of images of, of various vehicles and custom vehicles. It's, it's like any kit. Once all players get their hands on it, it's, it's gonna be custom. Oh no yeah, what Once it is. The mechs get their hands on it and start uh, tinkering. We're gonna end up with some really crazy looking creations. So between the two, um, the two buggies that we have, people went kind of crazy with this image because not just the shock jump dragster itself, but if we look in the back, in the top left hand corner, there is a massive orc there. So people have been asking about. A prime orc for ages. Oh, yeah. So, you know, he's out of focus and he's in the distance, but you can clearly see there's some bulk on that boy, and it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. What do you think? Oh, yeah, 
yeah i mean this reminds me of um a little while ago there's a little bit of hype about there was they were saying about like potential of a new orc walker or a new some sort of mega dread or something and there was a there was a some sort of vehicle or something in the background blurred very similar to this and i think it turned out to be a conversion or something that they just oh, had a looted um what's that gray knight walker the one with the yes. The baby carrier one. The baby there, carrier, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dread Knight or something, is it? That's it, the Dread Knight. Yeah, so that, but with this one, I don't think that's, I don't think that's the situation. I I, I think this is actually, um, I, I, I think that's what it is. I think it's a prime orc. Um, it, either that, it's one, it's one of two things. Either it's a new model or it's a hell of a conversion because like, oh. it looks nothing like anything in the line currently. No, I mean, it looks... It, it almost looks a bit sort of like a great unclean one or a uh, some sort of Nurgle chaos troll or something. But I mean, I, it, it, it's highly unlikely that it, that it is that because um, you can see what looks to be at the top of the picture. There. It looks to be some kind of power claw. Yeah. Uh, Definitely. Um, on, the vehicle he's on is kind of, it looks like sort of, a sort of three wheeler kind of, do you know what I mean? Like the two wheels in the front are brought together. What little we can see of it. Yeah, is he on the vehicle or is he behind it? Well, well, this is the thing. Like, it looks like he might be on it, but if he's not on it, then he's absolutely massive. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, and I think as well from this, we can state very clearly. I think that it's not Gasgol. I don't think so, no. Gaskell has oh. typically been like um, depicted in his mega armor. Yeah. Since they There's updated that back in. There it seems is. A, lot, a lot more bare bones. Yeah, this guy's a lot more, uh, yeah. A lot more skin on shell. Mm hmm. And some insane looking muscles going on there. Yeah, just... well. <laughs> you, you could bench press a battle wagon with that arm, with that left arm all by himself. Like. Like, yeah, it looks like an orc's been infused with gamma rays or something. It looks, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, um, it's like whole, whole incredible size. Whole or demon prince. I'm thinking, like, if you know, de demon prince size, okay. he, do, he does, yeah. I mean, he does look, and I think that's a good size to go with. Um, if I mean, if that is what we're seeing, and if that is, I think, and we're, I th we're, we're desperately in need of prime orcs. Um, we've whether whether you think it's a good idea or not, I think we've come to a situation now where GW doesn't really have a choice because when you look at the law of the game and stuff, Space Marines or whatever, fighting against Orcs, um, typically it's always worked well as the, the sort of the heroic armies being the underdogs facing against insurmountable odds, a huge terrifying enemy. Um, and currently... When you've got a Primarch that could drop kick an Orc war boss halfway across the battlefield without breaking a sweat, you're not getting these great cinematic feels and of the battles and stuff. You need something to threaten a Primarch. You need something that's going to give them a run. Tell. Yeah, give them a run for the money. Something that it isn't just a, I, I put the Primarch on the table and it's a foregone conclusion sort of, yeah. 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 I mean, that's Primarchs, obviously, they, they should be hench and powerful and heroic and amazing to be able to do incredible things. But you want them to come up against a proper challenge, a, an enormous hulking beast that is just absolutely terrifying. And uh, yeah, I think if this is what we're seeing now, then it's, 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 it's good for us. It's really good. We don't know. It might be Gazi. It might be maybe... The prime orcs that people are talking about, which is pretty much like I don't know, upscaling orcs bigger than knobs type of thing. Um, it might even be scare boys. We, you know what I mean? Could be anything. I mean, by God, if it is just a, if it's not a character, then bloody hell, we're gonna have some big models in the army. I mean, I'm hoping what we're seeing is a character. Um, I mean, I said in one of my early videos way back talking about prime orcs that. Obviously, Gaz is the is the number one dude to be turned, you know, become a prime orc, um, and it'd be crazy for him not to. But I would love it if we had the option to have a standard orc war boss, you know, prime orc warlord um, that 
we could customize it would have different options in the pack different head options different are you know the good sort of fun that you know we get creative it would be great to have something like that um i, d I don't see him being um anything less than a character what we're seeing there on the screen because that that size is it's Huge. immense yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a big boy now i agree with you there i think if it's anything it's, it's probably a character especially if you look at the the orcs that are driving the vehicles and he is most likely standing on that vehicle so he, he's pretty big i'd be very surprised if it's not some, some form of war boss and i agree with you in regards to um an update to uh, war boss we don't currently have like a multi-part plastic war boss we have the grook face ripper and then there's like the assault on black reach uh war boss that you can get in the starter sets i think you were you give away a starter set they're the only two um plastic war bosses we have we don't have a plastic mig armored war boss so to see a war boss kit that was um multi-pose something like the De demon prince and then where you could just glue on extra bits and make a mega armored or something that would be class something like that amazing i think um the perfect example of that is the current great unclean one kit for nurgle um where you can create the character roticus out of it or you can create it in a multitude of different ways to create a standard you know great unclean one of like your own making um that's a perfect way to you've got the character in the kit but you don't have to make it as that character and um i think to please all us all players um because not all of us want to play goths not all of us want to play as gasgo um it would be great to be able to have a kit that is you can make gas if you want or you can make your own generic war boss and give him your own name and get creative and build up your own story and stuff for him. And uh, I think that that's that would be for me. I mean, I will be pre-ordering that <laughs> the second that's announced. If that gets announced, I'll, I'll be all over that one. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Like, even if it was just a Gasgo war boss, orc players being orc players, you'd see all various conversions, like there is with the current one. You know what I mean? You, you'll see all types of conversions of a of a gazy miniature. I've seen seen all types where there's people have had I don't know the strangest ones where they've had like a grot with like levers instead of a head, so it's like a grot and a giant <laughs> suit type of thing. That that's 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 just astounding. <laughs> all, all manner of strange and 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 wonderful things. So yeah, it's it's all leading up to October. So I I suspect we're gonna get the codex. Um, I'd be very surprised if we don't, since they're they're, they're specifically um, stating that the October is coming up um, at the end of the video for the Speed Freaks. What do you think yourself? You you think we're definitely getting the Codex then? And... I think we have to, or else GW are facing the terrifying prospect of a riot held by nerds. I don't know how scary. <laughs> I don't know how scary war gamers would be on mass rioting i imagine not very scary at all actually um quite easily dealt with um but yeah it's the it, 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 of course they've they've said it they they've as, as good as they have basically stated you're getting your orc codex in october um along with anything else that comes with it um i'm hoping i'm hoping it's not just this game and an orc codex um that would be disappointing um i want to see more than this um and i think if they if they're going to change the name of an entire month um they're, they're building up some pretty big hype there so i'm hoping they don't disappoint us but i don't think they will no i, th I think yeah i'm think, thinking the same myself where it's not just going to be the speed freaks game that we're we're going to see a few kits at least hopefully a character or two a couple of vehicles that type of thing even that just to tide us over you know what i mean fill in the gaps the blatant gaps in the army that we have um that need updating and fixing and uh, yeah. it'll just be interesting uh, codex was i'd be interested in the, the clan rules because there, there was rumors or supposed leaks of late um in yes, regards uh, to different clans if you, if you yeah they weren't leaks they weren't leaks i've been corrected on that um they definitely <laughs> weren't leaks <laughs> i had a very disgruntled viewer um yeah 
Um, they, they were just rumours, but uh, rumours that we got to talk about because they, they, it's just they could turn out to be complete crap, um, or there could be some truth in them. And I imagine even if they are completely made up and it's completely pie in the sky, I still imagine just by sheer chance there is probably a lot of truth in them uh, because they they fit. Um, I think we're going to end up with something very similar to what the sort of rumours and leaks have been about in regards to clan traits. Um, like one of them, for example, was talking about uh, goths uh, having a rule similar to the Daka 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 stratagem, but with close combat. So sixes results in extra extra. Um, attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, from from what I saw of the leaks, yeah, they looked very fluffy. They they seem to to fit with the clan's identities um, for each of them, from what I saw. I mean, for my part, I'm kind of hoping that the that the, the the perhaps not true, and they are a bit better because uh, I'm a bad moon player. And my the one was just uh, the one that's been rumoured is just that we re-roll ones to hit in the shooting phase, which is is okay. It's pretty good. Um, but a lot of other armies get that. I know one of the uh, Necron dynasties gets that. Um, but re-rolling a one to hit when you've got a three plus ballistic skill is a lot better than when you've got a five plus ballistic skill. Um, but any assistance towards orc shooting is good in my book. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, it's it's suffering in an eighth edition to 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 say it lightly. Um, oh, yes, definitely, and especially if um, I mean for fluff reasons, I, I, I like my army to be shooty. Um, I love the the you know there's the whole image of a bad moon army decked out with loads of dacker and just firing wildly um but uh it, to make that work on the tabletop is is pretty hard at the moment um the other the other thing in terms of orc shooting that was exciting about that was that um how they were saying that the dacker 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 stratagem will no longer be a stratagem and it will just be an army-wide special rule in that rolling uh, sixes to hit will re give you another shot with the same weapon. That's If that's true, that's, again, very helpful to orc shooting because as a stratagem, pretty weak. But as a freebie for the entire army and every gun in your army, that, that's going to result in a few extra hits and a few extra wounds here and there, and uh, that will mount up. Yeah, I, I suppose every little will help. I was thinking the same myself. As a stratagem, um, that seems pretty pretty weak like it wasn't like I, I i didn't bother with it to be honest with you it didn't seem worth me well it seemed like it was going in the right direction but it just wasn't you know what i mean it, it wasn't there for what the the orcs it's very um sort of situational and certain units benefit from it more than others like for example i've used it in games and i use it with my tank busters um, when they're targeting vehicles. So obviously when they're targeting vehicles, they get re-rolls to hit. So rolling some sixes on that first bit and then getting some extra shots when you've got a re-roll, um, that, that results in a few extra hits and stuff. Um, but yeah, it, very, it, it depends on the unit you're doing, but yeah, it's limited use at best. Uh, I mean, it's only one command point, but there's probably better things you can spend your command points on. Yeah, true. No, I've... My not that we have yeah, not, not that we have many, yeah. So... But most of what I spend them on tends to be rerolls when I do play 40k. I've been busy with skill team as of late. Games at Adian. Like fun. But I think have, have, they, have, they, have, they had something have, interesting in kill team where it's like the six plus, like the six is always hitting, that type of thing. You know what I mean? Yes, 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 yes. Um, I mean, yeah, Um, I... I've been arguing the case for that for quite a while, and I think uh, fantastic they put that in Kill Team. Um, and I hope that that's either in the Orc Codex or in a future edition of Chapter Approved or something, because I think that's it would benefit other armies as well as Orcs, actually, I think. Um, nowhere near to the same level, because we're obviously the most inaccurate of all the armies. Yeah, um, we, but we suffer the modifiers the most, but yeah, it's uh, definitely. I think the the core rules themselves could could deal with an FAQ or an errata or an update in that regard because it's the last thing you want is to bring miniatures onto the table only to find you can't use them for the primary use you were looking to use them for. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean? It's, 
Yeah, it's it's terrible. It's I mean, it's such an easy fix because I mean, six is to hit. You're, you're still not gonna, you know, you're still not gonna set the world ablaze when you roll those dice, um, unless you get a really lucky roll. Um, you're still gonna, you know, having your five plus modified to a six plus is still, you know, it's 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 halving the effectiveness of it. Isn't it? You've gone from a a one in three chance of hitting to a one in six, but to have it go to no chance at all is just. Uh, a bit ridiculous and yeah it might be realistic in terms of shooting it like a fighter jet flying overhead and stuff but there's other units you've got things that you know units on the ground and stuff that have you know a minus one to hit and stuff and it it can very quickly it stops the game being fun and uh and that's that's the key point like is to have fun now not everyone's going to agree obviously there are those who like to go to tournaments and and win and stuff like that but i think when it comes to orc players on large in general with my broad sweeping statement i think most orc players just like to have a laugh you know what i mean and not to take it too seriously yeah definitely i think i think virtually every player no matter how much they will say that they just play for fun they don't care we all play to win no matter whether we play narrative or competitive or in tournaments or whatever i think we all play to win um but I think, yeah, generally all players, are, we are in it for the fun. We're in it for the fun, that's for sure. Yeah. And we're the, most, we're the most fun army to play against as well, because even if you lose against Orcs, you are going to have killed a shitload of Orcs by the end of that game. Oh, bu- buckets full, fistful. That's, <laughs> if the Orc player is not taking models off by the fistful, there's, there's something gone awry there, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I can de- I can definitely remember in previous editions if if my enemy hadn't killed like half my army by torn two I was like oh you messed up there mate <laughs> yeah you're you're about to get tabled <laughs> about to get tabled so so I think that's about it like we're we're looking forward to October um is there anything else you'd like to throw in before we wrap it up Steve any questions we wanted the uh, watchers or um, you know the uh, yeah. listeners. It's been, well, just first of all, thanks for having me on the channel, mate. It's been an honour. Ah, oh, the, the honour is all mine. That, that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been good fun. It's nice to get these, I mean, I enjoy doing my um my, my channel and my videos and stuff, but to be able to have a, a good uh, chat with a, uh, a fellow, fellow enthusiast. Yeah, definitely. It's been good fun. Um, But yeah, I would definitely be up for doing this again. And um, I would... Uh, yeah, it would be great, actually, um, to get some of the guys watching this to throw some questions in the comments section for us. Um, so maybe we could, uh, we're thinking of doing a Q&A for the next one. Um, so you guys can ask your questions and we'll uh, give you our answers. Yeah, we'll show them up on the, the next video. If, if you guys are interested in seeing uh, myself, Scarnier and Steve-O doing another, another video, if you have questions you'd like to ask us, and come be in regards to the orcs or the upcoming codex what you guys think is going to happen what you think the prime orc sort of that's as we're nicknaming it the prime orc image in the background of the uh, shock jump dragster is what do you think of the supposed clan traits any orky questions or questions hobby related or anything like that throw them in to the comment section down below and we'll have a crack at them in the next video there's there's definitely one question I would like our viewers to answer um, from me though. Um, that, yeah, if, if you want to ask them to, to answer, yeah, I would um, like them to tell us which is the best orc clan, and um, I'll give them a tip. It's uh, Bad Moons. It's definitely not Bad Moons. No way, man. <laughs> Blood access for life. He's going. That we, I'll tell you what. We'll we'll kick off the next video. <laughs> The next video will be the reasons why Blood Axes are not the best clan. <laughs> sound like a plan? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> All right, so t- cheers for uh, for watching, guys. Hit, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'll throw up a link there. If you're not already subscribed to 6 Plus Stevo, I'm going to throw a link up in the video. Jump over there. Give him a subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell buttons. So, uh, thanks for coming on to the video, Stevo, And uh, we look forward to the next video, mate. Thanks, buddy. Catch you later, guys. Six Plus Steve-O, signing out.